ladies and gentlemen, the DLC was announced yesterday, and if you missed the trailer breakdown of that yet, link will be in the description to that. But you're probably watching this video and thinking, oh crap, I don't have a lot of money, how can I actually get some money as quick as possible, and how can I actually prepare for the DLC coming up? Like, what do I have to own before being able to purchase any of these vehicles? Now, obviously, when it comes to purchasing these new things, I'm gonna have to give a fair warning before we start, because this is all speculation from my point. Personally, I think that the hangar is going to be making a return to store those new air vehicles and upgrade them as well. So if you don't already own one, now would probably be a good time to get one. The reason I'm saying that is because currently there's 25% of the hangers, which means that you can actually own a hangar for only $900,000 if you have the cheapest one in LSIA, which is the one I'm showing on screen. In other things that you might want to consider buying this weekend is a biker clubhouse. It's currently 25% off and the cheapest one you can get at the moment is only $150,000. It's in Blaine County though, so it's probably not the best option. For 275k, you will have, in my opinion, the best clubhouse located in Del Perro Beach. This is, in my opinion, the best option because it is right next to two spawns for your air vehicle. So if you own a Hunter, it's going to make your life a lot easier when you're doing those biker contract missions. Now, speaking of biker contracts, that is the thing that you're going to want to do this weekend. It's going to make you a crap ton of money for a very little investment. The 275k is something you should have earned back in literally like an hour or two at most. Now, especially if you choose to go for the one in Blaine County, you should have this money back in less than an hour. Now, fair warning about biker contracts. It can go two different ways. You can earn from 30 to 40 up to $70,000 per contract. However, the contracts are randomly generated, which could mean that you can have a streak of like 30 to 40K paying jobs, or you could have a streak of 70K paying jobs. It balances out pretty well, and I dare to say that every two jobs you get about 100K. Pretty much all of them are done in five to 10 minutes, especially if you have a team together, you're gonna breeze through all this stuff. Now, speaking of teammates, this is something that you probably wanna get as well at least three of them to make your life extremely easy. If you actually manage to get seven other people in your MC, well, these contracts are just going to be a joke, really. If you have like one or two people or even more than that with a hunter as well, it's just it's just going to be a breeze. Like get your air vehicles out there, fly around, make sure that the leader of the MC starts those contracts as soon as possible. There is a three minute wait after completing a contract though, so do keep that in mind. You could utilize that time in order to do, you know, maybe a free roam event or anything else that could generate some money while you wait. In general, these biker contracts are are a fantastic way of making some serious cash this weekend. So try to get a crew together. Do keep in mind though, one thing that can be quite annoying is that if you actually do manage to get that crew going, having another crew in there trying to do biker contracts as well can give some very nasty conflicts because you can only do one biker contract mission in a session. So if a different MC is trying to start a contract, they're not gonna be able to do it. Another very, very important detail is that these biker contracts are able to be done in a crew, friends, or private invite only session. So you don't have to worry about anyone interfering with your money making method because they're simply not going to be able to join unless you have some dickhead friends in that case block them off your friends list and don't let them join ever again but if you're someone that doesn't really have a lot of friends you're kind of more like a solo player you know you kind of like to stay in your own that's fine too these biker concerts can still be pretty profitable but not as profitable as it would be with a friend so if you're someone that is good in racing for example then you're in luck as well because trends from racers are also double cash this weekend too so if you manage to get a full lobby and play a race of around eight minutes then you'll get a full cut of up to seventy thousand dollars a piece which is roughly around the same amount that you would earn with biker constructs as well however for transform races, it can be quite difficult to actually win them because some people might actually own a custom vehicle that you don't. So if you actually manage to host a lobby, which is relatively easy as well, I'll show you how to do it on screen. And then what you wanna do is 
set it to your preferences. Do you want to play with custom vehicles to potentially beat out the people who don't own those vehicles? Or do you just want to completely take off custom vehicles? If you're a host, you're obviously able to completely utilize every option that is in the menu. So go out there, host some lobbies, and you should be seeing some nice cash rolling in very quickly. Now, if you're someone that happens to also have a bunker, then it's very much worth trying to fill that up as well this weekend, because there's a 25% increase on research and manufacturing. Now, manufacturing is the thing that you want to set it on, because that's going to make you the most money. Typically, it would take 12 hours to fill up your bunker completely, but now with 25% faster, it will only take nine hours. So, I, it depends on how much you play, but this weekend should be very likely that you're able to fill up your bunker and make another million very easily. Another tip is that if you have to go away from your PS4 for a little while, what you could do is just watch TV or watch the security cameras in your bunker, and then you'll be able to just idle and go on with your day, do some grocery shopping or whatever while GTA makes money. Do, however, keep in mind that you have to be in a public session for bunkers. Speaking of having to be in a public session, another great option would be to do some import and export vehicle warehouse missions. These can earn you up to $240,000 an hour, and they're relatively easy to do. Uh, personally, the, the way I like to go about it is to source a car, then sell a car, then source two cars, then sell a car, source two cars, kind of just keep on going. Now, luckily for you, there is a very nice little trick where you're able to get nothing but top range cars as well. What you want to do is you want to get every single possible vehicle in the standard and mid range class, and then from there on, you will only be able to get top range cars. However, do keep in mind that you don't want to go over the 32 vehicle mark, because as soon as you do that, you'll start to get duplicates of literally everything. So do keep an eye on that when selling and sourcing cars as well. Now, if you're going to ask me if it's worth investing in any of these businesses that I've mentioned, I'm going to give a big fat no. You don't want to be spending too much money this weekend because you're going to need it coming Tuesday with the update. The only worthwhile investment this weekend is a biker clubhouse. And even that you don't really have to buy because you can just simply lift off your friend who actually does own one. But if you don't really have friends that have one or you, you kind of want to be the scapegoat, if you will, 150k, you have the cheapest one you're able to do all the contracts very easily and just watch the money roll in and then the oldest trick in the book of course is to sell vehicles you don't use anymore your garage might be fully filled up with all kinds of cars you don't even drive anymore you forgot that you even have them but it could be worth millions same with your hanger have you bought the chula for example there's going to be a chula versus two you might want to you know get rid of the chula and make like another four million yes you've paid so much money for the thing now you can just Get it back, really. It's only a portion of your money that you invested in a vehicle, but still, it's going to make you a good chunk of money. I remember in the Smuggler's Run update, I think I made like between 5 and 10 million by simply selling cars. Because nowadays, all these cars are expensive, but if you sell them again, you made a quick buck. But anyway, that was it for this preparation guide. I hope you found this useful. If you have any further tips or thoughts about this, let me know down in the comment section down below. We're all trying to make a quick buck this weekend, so the more tips, the merrier. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna probably be a quite expensive DLC, especially that jetpack that everyone wants to have. It's probably gonna cost you a couple of millions. So hopefully this guide has helped you out. If you did like it, leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.